Now, something we're going to do first is break, the, break one of the rules of embroidery, and that's put a knot in the end. We always did this because we're working, don't forget, we were working with children and beginners, and it's much easier to do a knot. So this is the back, and I want to ensure that the knots start on the back. So I'm going to go down with my needle first, pull it through, and there's the knot sitting on the back. Now I'm going to come up a stitch away from there. Now, the knot's on the back, don't worry about it. It's not on the woolen cloth, uh, which is the front. Now, we're, we're making an outline to show where the design will be on the woolen side. So the fact that there isn't a stitch there on, the, on this side doesn't matter. It's on the woolen side where we want it. So now with my stem stitch, I'm going to do a stitch towards myself. Now the stitching technique when you're using a hoop is to, a stabbing technique. So you stab down with a needle and also straight up again. I'm going up to the top of that little first stitch there. Still got that gap, don't worry about it. Now that's my first little stitch. You always need one of these stitches when you do stem stitch. Then the needle goes a stitch away from the end. Straight down, don't forget. And hold the lead thread out of the way so that you can see where to come up. And I'm coming up at the bottom of the last stitch. I'll do another one to show you. So straight down, stitch away from the end, hold the lead thread out of the way and come up at the end of the last stitch and then you can let go of the lead thread and pull it through. It's really important that you use that stabbing technique with your needle because you're working with two pieces of fabric, the calico and the woolen cloth. And if you were to go in with your needle at an angle, like that, you would then end up with a stitch in the right place at this side, but on the other side, the woolen cloth, you would have it in the wrong place. And of course, it's the front, the woolen side, that matters, not the back. And we're working on the back first. We're only going to do this for the outline. To do a corner, I've just, just you've got a stitch away from the corner now. Go in with your needle at the corner and then back to the last stitch, just as before. And then carry on away from the corner, round the corner, and then back with your needle in, back up into the corner. To finish off, when you're running out of thread, just weave into the completed stitches a few times. Remember that when you're transferring the outline, always finish off on this calico side. You don't want this finishing to show on the woolen side. And then you can cut off the surplus wool close to the stitches. We'll have a look at the front of the fabric now. And here you can see the stem stitch from the reverse, which is a neat little row of running stitches all connected. And look at the corner, how neat the corner is. It didn't look like that on the other side, but it, it, it is. And here we've got the outline completed on the reverse side, the calico side. Notice I've used the right colours that correspond with the finished design.